What's up guys welcome back again today we're going to take a look on Yahoo Aviate launcher so I've been using this launcher for a couple of days and I have just found out some of the pros and cons that just thought to share with you guys and this is my 14th launcher I guess so here's the one the simple UI looks like you can see here this is what you will get here some sections where you can have your weather your breaking news stuff and all you can read that quickly this is called cards and this is trending search that you can do here and this is what your there is no app drawer concept here this is what simple looks like if you come down here this is your collection page where you can add your apps shortcuts it can be customized and changed you can give any name whatever you want and here is a simple app drawer so this is what guys the launch just looks like now let me show you guys some of the pros and cons that we have here fine so the pros number one I will say there is no app drawer so this is sometimes very unique and I kind of like that because you know it looks clean there is no way to get in and that you can easily create multiple number of rules here whatever shortcuts you want and simple collections page stuff so this guy is quite nice which just looks very simple doesn't have any google search bar no. and the pros number two a very clean and simple free from third party apps apps links and install so most of the launchers guys i have reviewed i found that they at least uh, very less launchers are there which doesn't have any extra bloatwares like you know google now launcher and nova launcher they don't have any third party apps and links installed and most of the launchers at least they have a dedicated icons for themes packs icon widgets so many stuff there but sometimes they are pretty annoying and also the icons of the apps are really sometimes not following the systems and right marshmallow or default and right OS view so as you can see here the all the icons and things here are complete system based so it's kind of nice if you are really an android lover and wants uh, only the stock based experience you really like these things here and the pros number three you will get the beautiful flickr wallpaper and photos collection so there is one way to change here is directly either you can go to daily wallpaper it changes daily you can easily see uh, by which date 25 26 27 28 29 and this is today's here and also apart from that you will get a lot of bunch of wallpaper collection just go to the wallpaper section here you will see this is random category you can either click on the categories you can see there are so many categories here technology space suppose i just went to space so you will see they are really gorgeous wallpaper i really love and fond of these wallpapers you can easily come and change suppose i just wanted to take this here i just set as a wallpaper so as you can see sometimes it's not changing the wallpaper so that's one of the cons you can write it down i will cover that later too so and also uh, one of the excellent weather widget you will get out there the Yahoo weather is really one of the fantastic weather i have seen till now if you just click on any of the weather for example this is my current place i just show you here it shows me exactly the beautiful ways you can see here how it goes on it's changed instantly i mean uh, it's still working fine I've been traveling from Delhi to Gurgaon and to some other places here for two three days and I too found that you can see it this is my other place I visited yesterday this shows me exactly it's clearly uh, raining there and I too get here animations are perfectly nice you can see you will see the thunderstorms and all the things here so this is one of the best that's why I said one of the best weather uh, widget or app you can see the Yahoo weather is exclusive and dedicated app you can uh, using this launcher you will get this feature here so this is really awesome so this is very nice and fantastic feature now I'm moving to the next pros uh, this is a very nice and clean app drawer and the folder right here so you can easily create a new collection if I just type here you can either take the default one or you can create your own if you just type uh, whatever you don't want my and you can add your come here uh, you can add any of the icons from here for example uh, this is what there so I can move it to here to my so now it came here so you can put uh, even you can rearrange to your top of the locations like you can see here it's on the top you can add that so this is how you can create a, a quick way to you know navigate between the folders and perfect social apps you can make your home screen clean or you can just swipe here and get that so this is a really nice feature of this launcher guys so next pros and uh, like i said here you can also create direct shortcut for the apps uh, all you need to do just uh, click here to the settings just click to the settings so you can see here this option is called create shortcut just click on the create shortcut it even work for your particular directory and folder and all for example I just had this file manager app so I want to have a particular access to a specific folder suppose I just went to DCIM and I just uh, because I need to take a lot of photos and all the photos go to DCIM directory I just create ok so you can see 
I got this DCIM shortcut I can simply click here it will navigate with this DCIM so this is very nice and fun way to create direct shortcut to your apps and links whatever you want now next pros uh, quick shortcuts contact and SMS guys this is very important feature if you just swipe here up you get all these favorites here and the recent contact number that you have you can easily minimize that it's pretty simple and you can open the dialer app here it's open your dialer app directly from here and you can even create a quick sms from here you can see it shows the direct sms and and as you have noticed guys if you just create sms it will show you guys the first the favorite stuff that you use to access very oftenly so this is how you can create contact sms shortcuts in there and not the last uh, there's one important pros here i want to show you guys it's kind of 3d touch functionality that you have in the iphones right now so but anyway this does supports for the apps that support uh, this functionality for example you can see here the icons that has a circle bubble on that one if i just press for a couple of moments you can see i got this options so take video take photo search if you click on map you'll see here right i'm just making close here or you can see search take my photos you can directly call from here if you, if you just move your finger here it will try to give you this option to move this on you just click for a second here this is very nice feature guys i really like that it's simple if just either you use one hand or any hand you use you can just create from here direct shortcut direct contacts link from you want so this is how a couple of the pros i noticed for this launcher now start with the cones so anyway uh, the cones number ones i just found it right now guys i tried to change the wall but it's not changing uh, i'm not sure why but anyway i tried to change from all the three days it worked perfectly for me let's try for something else and uh, maybe if we go to the uh, you know some different here for example landscapes and see whether this time uh, this changes or not so this is one if i just click here open anyway uh, you can uh, there's no option here but you can get this uh, uh, this uh, lgg3 wallpaper.com or maybe you can download wallpapers from there uh, this is sort of a biggest cons guys it's not changing the wallpaper so yahoo uh, that's disappointing flicker is not working for you okay let's move to next cons sometime adding widgets and cards like you is not working for example just click here there's an option called add your own widgets click here and you can create many of for example i just added this news here and you can add for example this uh, battery monitor okay so it shows one day 16 hour left if i go back here uh, i should see the updated stuffs but it's not showing here so uh, you need to change the launcher back to somewhere else launcher or maybe you need to restart the ui or whatever stuffs you do then it will reflect back as you can see i'm not able to see this uh, a uh, gsm battery monitor app that i have added here so this is what i found here and that this two begins cross so and uh, now moving to the third cons no option to customize the app draw like background transparency and you know icon size and renaming here anyway this uh, uh pretty beautiful look problem with that this shows you the all the alphabetic stuff so you can see here this also you can scroll from here scroll here but uh, uh, anyway if it is developers in the background it really looks very really nice and also the same applies to this uh, uh collection center too it's not taking the background wallpaper so it should be nice uh, anyway it depends on your choice uh, it's your personal feeling i really like uh, you know app draws to be transparent that's why i use all this novel launcher prime so depends on you what you want now uh, next cause icons on app draw sometimes get blank a couple of times uh, you guys might have noticed uh, at the starting of this video and i tried to show you guys the demo uh, some icons are you know sort of uh, transparent and there is no name just uh, you know gray color maybe you can go to the starting of the video if you notice that uh, this is what i found sometimes is here and the next uh, cons i can say you guys there is no backup and restore options available so this is sort of uh, uh, disappointing there is no backup and restore so anyway guys this is all a quick stuff for this aviate yahoo aviate launcher and hope you enjoyed this video and in case you did hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to watch more and stay tuned i'm just working on this weekly apps for this may uh, fourth week and also uh, the best apps for the next coming next month so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe as i said here this sort of behind the scene and thank you very much for watching guys we'll talk to you very soon have a nice day ahead